This video shows how to choose a replacement woofer for a ported box. Sometimes you can't find an exact replacement and need to search for a substitute. The first step is to use the enclosure design tool to find the box volume. I'll make up numbers and say we have a 24 inch by 12 inch by 12 inch externally dimensioned box with a wall thickness of three quarters of an inch. That produces a box volume of 1.436 cubic feet. The next step is to use the port design tool to determine the port frequency. Now normally this tool calculates the port length. We're using it backwards here and we'll have to iterate to find the port frequency uh, by looking at the port length. So we know from the previous step the ported enclosure volume is 1.436 cubic feet. We don't know the port frequency. The port is round, there's one, and the port inner diameter as we measured in our box is three inches. And the port length of our example box is eight inches. So we're going to need to play with the port frequency until we get a port length of 8 inches. So I'm going to guess 35 hertz and that produces a port length of 8.64 inches, a little too long. I know from experience we're going to need to go a little bit higher in frequency to shorten the port length, so I'll try 36 hertz. Well, that was a good guess. We now have a port length of 8.05, which is close enough for this example. And we now know the port frequency of our box is 36 hertz. The last step is to use the box design tool to test out the woofers that we're thinking of using and see how they would perform in this box. So the first woofer that I'm interested in is the Dayton RS-225-8. It's got a FS of 28.3 Hertz. QTS is 0.38. VAS is 2.0 cubic feet. And this is a ported box. The box volume, as we determined earlier, 1.436 cubic feet. And the port frequency, as determined in the last step, was 36 hertz. We'll plot that. We can see that uh, that's a reasonable possibility. Now let's add the next driver that we're thinking of using and see if it's better or worse. I'm going to add a new data set and you can see that it keeps uh, the, the same numbers which will help us. We, we wanted to keep the same box volume and port frequency. Now we're going to type in the teal and small parameters of the second driver which is a peerless model 830869. It's got a resident frequency FS of 30 hertz, QTS of 0.31, and a VAS of 3.09 cubic feet. Now we'll plot both on the same plot and see that. Um, the red Dayton gives us about a dB and a half boost in the 50 hertz region and is down 3 dB at about 33.3 hertz. The peerless in the green is down 3 dB at uh, about 42 hertz. So that's not as good as the, the red Dayton. And not only do we not have any... Uh, base boost in this 50 hertz region, we've got some roll off here. And this is a region where you'd like to get some base output, the 50 to 60 hertz 
region, even 40, 50, 60 hertz. So uh, for this example, the Dayton is the winner.